What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have a 2022 F Super Duty and it's got the 6.7, my favorite. I've been getting a lot of questions on how you remove your air filter from these trucks tonight. I'm going to show you how because it's not that hard. You guys just need to pull a little harder. All right guys, let's check this out. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Make sure to stop down and hit that like and that sub for more 6-7 content. Okay, tonight I'm going to show you how to take this air filter off. Whether you're replacing the air filter element or installing a whole new air filter assembly, it's really not that hard. And I'm going to show you what tools you're going to need in order to complete such a process. Alright, we have a 7 mil clamp up here. A 7 mil clamp here. Get this tube out of the way. We have a mass airflow sensor connector right here. And it's got a little slide thingy that needs to be slid up. Slide that red thing and then squeeze the button and this will come off. You need to get yourself a trim tool because you're gonna need to remove this trim clip from the air filter right like that get that pulled out all right remember what I said about the seven millies we're gonna seven milli that one and we're gonna seven milli that one and that is going to allow us to take this whole snorkel assembly up out of here like that once we get that we have three clips and that's gonna allow that to just flop out and here's our air filter now here's the question that I've been getting asked and it is why does that Allen just turn how come we can't just pull the air filter housing up and you can but first we need to take this trim clip out right here and pull this one out process of things to do but really isn't that bad once that's out this pretty much just pops out pop that out right there and another elusive seven milli right there it's like a little wood screw seven milli and it is ferrous so we are going to be able to magnet it out of its hole but that pretty much leaves us to right here. Now, I have found it a little easier to stand on a stool when doing this, but we have a rubber isolator here and a titty that is going through a rubber isolator here, and you really have to pull up. Now, I'm using one hand. I still can't do it. Let me see if I can do it one-handed. Let me stand on my crate. If I can do it one handed now, standing a little higher. You guys can see. Whew, that was a toughie. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my hand here. Now that I have this one disengaged, I'm gonna try to lift this one out. I've got my elbow on the fender, and I'm just gonna try to rotate this up. Let's see if I can let's see if I can prop you here. See if I can show you. Oh, there we go. I, I got it. It was definitely in there. And you can see how I'm going to pull this thing out. Okay, there's the elastic titty that was going through the rubber isolator. But this is what you're fighting right here. You gotta really pull in order to disengage that right there. Spinning the Allen, although it looked like it was a good idea, isn't gonna do anything for you guys. Let me know how you guys are removing your air filter assembly from your 20, 
21 or 22 model year Super Duty. It's not that hard. You guys just got to pull a little harder. Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time. See ya!